we got some good news for Sam Donald and the Carolina Panthers. The Panthers um uh, picked up a fifth year option for Sam Donald, and in addition to this, they also exercised a fifth year option for a uh, wide receiver DJ Moore, which is pretty good. You know, we could use a guy like DJ Moore. Uh, before I continue, Mario, uh, the source for this was David Newton, who's an ESPN staff writer. So I'll go first. Obviously, you know, best of luck to both of them. And I hope you guys can do well for us. But basically, I'm, I'm not going to repeat myself too much because I basically said everything I need to say about Sam Donald in the last video. Um, He needs to perform. It's that simple. You know, again, he came from the New York Jets. He didn't, you know, obviously he didn't play good because the Jets didn't really have anything. They didn't really give him anything to work with. Not only that, but Adam Gase should have never been a head coach in the NFL. He really should have. We all know this. Look at what he did in Miami. Did you really like? Like it, it, we just knew that this was going to be a catastrophe. Let's just say that. You know, uh, him, him and his coaching staff. The, the front office was terrible. They didn't really make any good moves. So realistically, Sam Donald was put in a very terrible situation that he was expected to get out of. But I don't even think Tom Brady would have gotten them out of that situation. Mark. I'm going to be honest with you. That's how bad the situation is in New York. You know what I mean? But obviously, you know, after that, you know, after after this year, they got rid of Adam Gates, something that needed to happen, something that should have never happened in the first place. They got a new coach in Robert Sala. Uh, no, not Robert Sala. Is that his name? His name's Robert Sala, yeah, right? Robert, yeah, yeah, Robert Sala. All right. I'm just making sure I got that right. They got a new coach, so they're rebuilding. They got their quarterback of the future in Zach Wilson. They just drafted him last night. You know, they got, they, they got a lot going for disposal. So maybe the, the nosebleed can stop in New York, but that's for the future. I'm talking about when Sam Donald was there in New York. He wasn't given anything to work with. He was put in an absolutely terrible situation, which, again, I don't even think the greatest of the, of the greatest could even fix that situation. I'm going to be honest with you, Mario. It was a pretty bad situation. But um, now he's with now he's with the Carolina Panthers. Are, are, they, are they a tough contender? You can make a case for it. I personally, I think we need a, I, I think we need a little bit more to be a playoff contender. I don't think we're going to the playoffs this year, but he's being put in a better situation. All right, you got Christian McCaffrey, DJ Moore has a, a DJ Moore is here for a little bit more. Robbie Anderson here, who was your former teammate by the way in New York. You got Dan Arnold, you know, and you got a very very talented defense backing you up. There is no excuses. This is Sam Donald's last chance in the NFL. If he does not get this right this year. Like like Mario said in the last video, he's gonna either be a backup or he's gonna be thrown out of the league entirely. It's just as simple as that. You, you got yourself a better chance with a better team that is providing you with so much more. You got the best running back, or arguably the best running back in the league, in Christian McCaffrey. You got a great wide receiver duo in Robbie Anderson and DJ Moore. And I know Curtis Samuel isn't there, which is gonna hurt the team, which is why I say the Panthers need to draft the quarterback and a wide receiver. You're put in a better situation. Let's just put it like that. If he doesn't get it right this year, he's done. That's that. It's, it's it's just as simple as that. Now a lot of people ask me, you know, why do you drop the quarterback? You're sticking with Sam Donald. Because what if Sam Donald doesn't turn out to what? What if Sam Donald doesn't become what we want him to be? Who do you go to then? Will Pryor? That's a guy you want to go. To. No disrespect to Will Pryor, but that that's a guy you want. That's a guy you want to turn to. Because the last time I checked, the last time Will Pryor took over as a starter for the last three games of a season, the dude just didn't do anything. We barely got seven points on the damn board. That's a guy you want to go to. That's just me. I mean, some 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 people could you know some people could think differently, but that's just me. That's why I say we got the quarterback just to, just for that just for that support. You know, same thing with the wide receiver. You know, ever since Curtis Samuel, uh, we've been in the need of a wide another wide receiver, and I think we do need another wide receiver. As for um, as for DJ Moore, this is really great for us. You know, DJ Moore has done nothing but wonders for us ever since he got drafted a few years ago. And a lot of people didn't talk about him. You know, he was very, very underrated. He still is very underrated. He still is very underrated. So I'm I'm glad that they kept DJ Moore. That's something that we definitely need to do. Um, so other than that, there's really not much else for me to say. Cause I basically talked about a lot of it in the last video. Um, so with that being said, you know, best of luck to Sam Donald here in Carolina. You know, best of luck to DJ Moore. Um, you know, Sam Donald, there's no more excuses. You need to perform, and that's just that. But with that being said, you know, best of luck to you both, and I'll pass it on to you, Mario. Yeah, best of luck to uh, Sam Darnold, um, and congratulations on getting that fifth-year option. I find that fifth-year option pretty surprising, considering the fact that they just got him. They just got him, and he hasn't played one game for them. So I find that pretty interesting. Um, but it shows that that might that's who they want to be, the future quarterback of their team. Um and look, Carolina as a team, it's very promising, Nate, you know, and I'm not saying that because you're a Panthers fan, because, you know, I've always been honest with you. They're very promising. 
Okay, that defense is picking it up. It's a very young defense, and I think with experience, they're going to become a better defense. That offense, they're still pretty good despite not having Curtis Samuel no more. You know, so they have a pretty good team, which is why I've said it many times. Sam Darnold has no excuse. Okay, he has a good, he has a decent defense, so he can't say the de- he, so he can't. So his fans, I know he won't say it, but his fans cannot say, "Oh, uh, well, the defense was pretty bad, so therefore Sam Darnold couldn't win games." I don't want to hear that. Okay. He has a good offense. So I want to hear the fact that they say, well, Carolina needs more in order for Sam Donald to succeed. Okay, let's explain something, okay? Let's take a look at the Baltimore Ravens real quick, all right? Lamar Jackson, great player, okay? Marquise Brown, great, good wide receiver, all right? Mark Ingram was a good running back while he was there. Obviously, now he's not there. He's in Houston, okay? Gus Bradley and um, uh, J.K. Dobbins, two good running backs, Okay. But let's focus on this. A quarterback's job, Nate, is to throw, correct? Mark Andrews and Marquise, and Marquise, um, Marquise Brown, those are his targets, okay? So, you know what? Lamar's got a decent team around him. Let's go to Cleveland. Baker Mayfield has uh, Odell Beckham, Jarvis Landry, Austin Hooper. He's got some decent weapons there, okay? So, there's him. Buffalo, Josh Allen, Stephon Diggs. Um. Cole Beasley. Gabriel Davis is going to be a good wide receiver when he gets it. So they got options around them too. Sam Darnold with Carolina. DJ Moore. Christian McCaffrey. Um, trying to think. DJ Moore. Dan Christian Arnold, McCaffrey. Robbie Anderson. Robbie Anderson. So Sam Darnold, if you ask me, Nate, okay, obviously the Browns have Old Dub Beckham, who's superstar status, but let's be real here. Old Dub Beckham has not been Old Dub Beckham the past few years, okay? So we'll start with that. Buffalo, that's an exception. You have Stephon Diggs, Josh Allen, God bless. That's all I'm going to say, okay? I don't need to say anything else right there. It's, it's Stephon Diggs and Josh Allen. I trust that duo completely, Okay. And then you got Marquise Brown and um, Lamar Jackson. Sam Donald, you now have your duo, Christian McCaffrey and DJ Moore. You have exactly, I feel like Sam Donald has an equal opportunity to be as good as the other three quarterbacks that were better than, that have been claimed to be better than him these past few seasons. So there is no excuse for Sam Donald to have a, a slacking year. There was no excuse whatsoever, Nate. Okay. You have a very good receiver in DJ Moore. You have one of the best running backs in Christian McCaffrey. There was no excuse. Okay? But it's up to Sam Darnold now, Nate. Okay? It's up to it's nobody but Sam Darnold. That's who it's up to. Now, obviously, knock on wood, that doesn't happen because we don't want to see it. But if, if his offensive like uh, player, if his offensive teammates end up getting hurt, he can't control that. I understand that. But if everybody's healthy for most of the season, Sam Darnold does not have an excuse to be bad. He doesn't. I'm going to be honest. But if he is, then I, I can't see Sam Donald being a starter in this league no more. I think he ends up becoming a bench uh, second stringer for the rest of his career, waiting for that opportunity. Kind of like, kind of like RG three. You remember how good RG three was, and he got hurt, and then all he did was just kept he just kept riding the bench as a second. Right. Stringer. Yeah. That's what's going to happen to Sam Donald if he doesn't straighten this up. Okay. But now look, you went from New York to Carolina. You're in a better situation. Okay. Now we need to see the Sam Donald that we believe was supposed to be the Sam Donald coming out that draft. That's who we need to see. So you know what, Nate? With that being said, I wish Sam Donald the best of luck. And again, congratulations on picking up your fifth year option. You know, um, and I wish him the best of luck as long as he's in Carolina and for the rest of his career as well.